yeah, tell us about breath work. What is it? Yeah. And like, how has it helped you? Yeah, it's always funny because when I tell people I'm a breath work facilitator, they're like, I breathe every like every moment of my life. Like, how are you facilitating right. that? Right. Like, what's different? Yeah, what's different? No, but um, that's a good question. For sure, it's a great question and a great place to start. Um, so there's two two branches of breath work, if you will, essentially the functional mm. breath work, which is how we breathe in our day-to-day -day life, right? Like how we're unconsciously breathing when we're not thinking about it. That's the 22,000-ish breaths that we're taking every day. And then there's therapeutic breath work, which is I'm stepping into a specific technique of breathing for some period of time, whether it's three minutes, an hour, whatever it is, to create some shift in the body, right? Um, therapeutic. Yeah, therapeutic, yeah. So there's... Like Kundalini, is it like that, or is that something else? So Kundalini definitely utilizes the breath for God. sure. That's like a that's like a definitely a deeper process, but the breath is it primarily uses the breath to create to create that shift, right? So obviously we breathe unconsciously, right? Like that's how we survive. We can sleep without <laughs> needing to think about breathing. Like thank thank yeah. goodness, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but our breath is actually the only process. It's the only system in the body that's autonomous, so it's just doing its thing on its own, just like how our heart pumps, exactly. feeds blood through our system, just how our body digests food. So too do we breathe, right? By the but, way, like, what? Gra how much gratitude do we have for that? Insane. <laughs> I mean, like I feel going. like if if we all knew <laughs> all of the energy that went into producing oxygen, like. Like once you learn that, you're like, man, that's amazing. Like you literally just want to hug every tree because they're literally producing the oxygen that we breathe. It's wow. insane, right? Brother, so how is, yeah, so that's where it's produced. Yeah. So you're getting at it. And yeah. I want to get into all those things you're going to explain. For sure. So Cycle of air. Yeah, absolutely. So breathing unconsciously, again, we do that every day, but our breath is the only system in the body that's autonomous, but we also have the ability to manipulate it, to control it, right? And that's very intentional because our breath is kind of like the conscious key that gives us access to control the other systems of the body, right? So I can't think to make my heart beat faster or slower, but I can breathe in a specific way and very quickly within even like a minute, either elevate or slow down my heart rate, right? So like it literally gives us access to control the other systems of the body. And we're actually learning through some incredible people just how deep that goes. People like Wim Hof, who have actually proven that we can actually control our autoimmune system through breath work, right? Which was before him deemed impossible. And he said, Because he no, could heal people, right? He yeah, like actually for sure. did people heal themselves. Yeah. That's so insane. So he, he's had uh, medical professionals inject him with viruses. And then he uses breath work and meditation techniques to basically just clear his body of it. He proved that and they were like, okay, that's cool, but you can do that, but nobody else can do that. And he's like, no. So he had a hundred people that mastered his techniques also do it. And they were all also to do the same thing. So he was like, wait, wait, no, it's not that I'm super here. Yeah. It's that he's I just, anybody could do exactly. That. Yeah. I just found, found a process, right? <laughs>